a good buzz in the camp after after the boys took on and, and beat Wasps. Yeah, there is. Yeah, um, it was a, a really good performance by the boys last week, just to um, I guess front up to probably the the form side in the competition and and show that um, if we get things right, then you know we can we can be in with a fight in this competition. So um, our challenge this week is to go out there and back that up against a, a, a really quality Worcester side. That's perhaps one thing that could be thrown across this year that the, the consistency is, is is almost dropped one in every four weeks and, and this week's a real good chance to, to put that to bed. Absolutely and that's the challenge for this in this competition I think for all teams is um, you know backing up good performances week in week out and that's probably the difference between the you know the top two th two or three sides to probably the rest of the competition dropping sort of one game in four um, you just can't do that so um, it's been spoken about this week and I know the boys are really determined to go up to Worcester and, and put in a quality performance. Obviously you missed out this week so this week you must be chomping at the bit. Yeah, I can't wait to get back out there. It was frustrating last week, um, having a bit of a calf niggle, but um, touch wood, that's, that's all behind me, and um, yeah, just looking forward to getting back out on the paddock. A lot of focus of, could be on that, that scrum half battle. Obviously, Worcester have, have made the move to, to bring in Francois Hogard. Does that play you know well from Super Rugby? Yeah, I've played against him a few times, and, and he's, a, he's a real X-Factor player. He's very quick, strong, um, obviously can play on the wing, so he, he has um, a fair bit about him, um, and he's been doing some pretty good things for, for Worcester over the last couple of weeks. So um, he's a player that we're going to have to make sure that we uh, contain as much as possible, and um, without sort of concentrating on them too much. But um, yeah, certainly um, looking forward to coming up against them.